Hello, welcome back again to Base Camp, Western North Carolina. This is the part of the pump build that I promised you. We're going to basically cover the parts that are needed today to be able to do this thing. Um, we'll start right here. This is the basic pump body. Um, inch and a quarter pipe, schedule 40. This is 24 inches. I would recommend right now go ahead and go 36 inches long. With the rod on the top of the pump, you can have a, a maximum of a 30 inch stroke. So if you put a 36 inch cylinder down here, you won't ever have to worry about bottoming out or topping out. At the very bottom of it, we have a check valve with check valve pointing this way. The water's coming in. This is a Bradley check valve, three quarter inch, available from Ace Hardware. Um, I'll give you the part numbers and all. This is how it comes. It'll be just like this. Arrows pointing up, goes in. It then hooks into a three-quarter inch close nipple right here. And then what I've taken is a three-quarter inch pipe thread to a slip fitting that will go in the pipe. I've sanded down this right here. And that's what's sitting inside that pipe. Or you could very well use an inch and a quarter coupling down to three quarter inch pipe thread or one inch and put a one inch valve on it. So you have 36 inches. We used a inch and a quarter slip, what they call slip to pipe thread. And this is so that you can take this plunger out. It's gonna to have to be able to come apart at some point without having to cut it open. So then what you have here, this right here is a one and a quarter inch to one inch pipe thread to pipe thread, a one inch male adapter which is one inch pipe thread that will screw in there and a glue joint that will go to your one inch pipe that is what goes up the well. At the top of the well you have a one inch T, one inch to three quarter inch pipe thread that will then hook on to the very top of all your well pipe. It's a three quarter inch pipe thread. This is the hose thread right now is all we have. This is where the sucker rod would come out. What they call a sucker rod comes up out of it. This then is a piece of half inch rod. This is carbon steel. We've been using fiberglass and brass, or you could use uh, plastic or fiberglass. This is turned down and threaded with a one half inch to 20 thread national pipe thread. That will go down in there. This is a one inch slip to three quarter inch pipe thread which is this little gizmo here. This goes down to a three quarter inch male adapter, a three quarter inch piece of pipe, a then a three quarter inch pipe to half inch pipe thread. And then we have a half inch cap on top of it and it is drilled with a nine sixteenths hole. And that is what comes down and fits in there when it all gets glued together. The location of the holes will go over in the next build. Um, watch out, here it comes. This is what they call the sucker rod. It's a fiberglass rod. I'm going to have on the website um, the availability of the part number from Ace Hardware, what these are. But it basically, it comes down. It's got a fitting on it. What this is right here is a three or four inch piece of close nipple PVC. And in order to get this thing here to work, we thread into this. This is a short piece of one half inch C PVC. We thread this in here, and then this right here gets sanded down a little bit and gets set in there. That is what is in this thing right here. 
We then drill 3 8 inch holes in here. This is your inside check valve. Water coming up. This is a 1 half inch to 3 quarter inch threaded bushing. Screws in there. The sucker rod goes in here. And that is what slides down into your tube for your pump. Right there. The making of this right here is basically we take a three quarter inch check valve, a Bradley check valve, because it's the only one I've found that will naturally fit right in the pipe pretty close without having to modify it. These two rings are cut in here with a table saw and our next little video will be on how to cut these rings in here, how to drill this hole, how to put that piece of pipe in, how to, how to cut everything, fit everything and machine it. Like I said, we did this on a table saw. These are the U-cup seals. They fit in with a cup pointing up to push water up. This is basically 3 16 of an inch wide. And the inside diameter of this cut right here is one and one eighth inches in diameter. That is what the size of this ring is. We have a place here where the rings and everything are available. We'll have this on the website of all these parts, all this stuff. Um, and that was pretty much the conclusion of the assembly and build of this bottom pipe. Like I said, this right here to show you we will go on. This is the check valve on the bottom of the pump. You'll assemble the check valve, this and the rod, and it slides down in your pump housing. You then have this inch and a quarter fitting pipe to male thread. We have that on here because this is the only way you'll be able to get this out to be able to service it and work on it. You then put your inch and a quarter bushing to one inch in your one inch male adapter. We'll go on. Of course, now this right here would be the depth of your well, but right now, in order to show you. This is your one inch PVC pipe that will run all the way up the top length of your well. So now you're at the top of the well. One inch T to three quarter will come in. And then you'll have this little piece right here. It'll fit right here. Your pump mount fits right here. And then your handle running that tape. And then you'll need to drill this hole. We'll go over that in the next video of all the machining, all the cutting, all the fitting. And on the website we'll have uh, the complete and total list of all the fittings you need um, to make the pump, the handle. We'll have all that on the website hopefully by this weekend, by the end of May, beginning of June. And uh, I'll take a quick close up. Of this here is the Bradley check valve available. This is the Ace Hardware part number. This is the polyurethane U cup seal and their part number. And this is actually where I've got it. I paid a total of $5 a piece. I bought four of them. They were $20 for the seals and $20 for the shipping. I am working on a local source to be able to get them without having to pay all that shipping. So if you're interested, contact me, leave me a comment or go to the website and email me and I'll see if we can't work a deal on some cups.